Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how to install Intel System Studio for IoT Edition. Edison. Uh, actually uh, this is a website uh, from Intel website we, according to your OS uh, I am using Windows 10 so I am going to download ISS uh, from that we have to download if you click uh, click it it will come if your all dependencies there it will proceed otherwise it will show you what are the things you have to download in that box its docker toolbox is not available so docker tool is enough to run this no need of docker so download it and try install uh, now we will see how to install docker tool okay here it asking the to install docker tool so minimize it we have downloading here if you are new to Intel design if you want to convert it if you want to work with IoT if you want to code in C, C++ and Java through this only through this SDK only you sh can work it out okay now uh, double click this docker tool and here uh, four check boxes should be checked out please note it out here I didn't check press please check it four boxes then give ok otherwise you have to separately have to activate that virtual box so don't uh, do that check it that four box in this docker image after uh, down if you double click that after installing docker tool you have installed the two system that is docker quick install and schematic uh, here uh, give this uh, dollar evolve and this exact uh, what i have given command in this black screen you just copy paste it will ask you it will allow you to run a docker image you don't want to um, separately install docker image because it need hyper uh, tool key if you install hyper tool hyper b tool here a docker tool with won't work so better we can activate docker through this uh, command dollar evolve dollar c colon okay now we have to check whether docker is uh, working in our os or not for the go to command prompt in command prompt these are the very important dependency to run uh, Intel Reason uh, for coding in cc++ okay give a no need of this uh, give a uh, docker docker run hello world hello hyphen world this command if you if started to run wait for some time it should run it should say hello docker if it is uh, proceed with these commands then uh, it succeed it installed the docker in our tool so uh, once again you check it if you want by running docker hello world after that minimize it now we will newly run our uh, iss uh, windows tool for uh, um, intel system studio for iot edition if you double click that it will load some time when i first uh, double click this one it asked me to install docker now we finished the docker now it's showing like okay you can proceed after installing docker so now uh, we will go for a uh, next step it has showing a search next now for next proceeding step asking us to um install as per what it's showing some command we should go with that okay give next it asking uh, a java 
to install Java, they have they also provided some link. Go just copy paste this link what I have shown on there. Here, uh, you should accept the license according to your OS. You should uh, download the Java packages. Okay. Uh, for Py if you people are new to Intel Design and IoT, I would like to say some uh, uh, things what I have observed. A uh, few people are really really new to the project field. Okay, for that I'm saying in Intel Design um, to run uh, C, C++ and Java is only way through this uh, Studio only. Intel uh, System Studio for IoT edition. edition. Uh, for Python, it's already inbuilt in our Linux system itself. In Linux, in our uh, Intel Edition, if you are using Okta image, then it directly by giving Python, you can run your code, Python code. But if you are uh, coding your co thing in C, C++ or Java, then you should go for uh, System Studio. Okay, for that, I'm sh showing how to install from the start what are the dependencies we need to run this and now we should install java uh, downloaded folder have come okay because this is a new platform so only i'm uh, i have put on clear video give next next just check it out the read whatever the thing you want there don't simply give next read it once it's better to read out the things before you give command okay um once again i'm reviewing that uh first we double click that uh studio.exe file which asks us to install docker file then the oracle vmware i think so it, it, it is a simple process if you link also provided there you should follow that one after that is asked us to install java so now we are installing java it's showing it's finished okay i'm new to java and any, i'm new to everything what i am doing here so if it is any mistake while i'm saying please ignore it uh, what i know i'm saying here Okay, give or next. Okay, keep close. So now we will give next. We have installed here, right? Now it's asking us to give accept license. Next. Then here in this platform in this dialog box read out there are uh, in a uh, intel edition intel have released so many product according to your product you should give checkbox i have given check for intel edition and intel kali Leo minus uh, intel um, edition so here i'm going to install only intel edition it's your wish to install mm. okay if you don't want it just Please uh, check out if you want check in. Okay, we according to your board, you can uh, ready the platform to install. Okay, thank you give next it asking to available spaces and how uh, how much space we need to install so before giving us so read it what are the things downloadable size also given okay give next it will take a uh, much time uh, okay be patient and keep your internet connection uh, clearly. See file folder what we have installed just now. Okay. Mm. 
by clicking uh, after doing this go to c colon in this c colon where we have installed uh, uh, in intel go to intel folder in the intel folder go to iss iot here you may find you just open and uh, see you can find so many examples here to work to open to start this is the procedure dot bat file you have to run it will take nearly 5 to 10 minutes to open the ellipse uh, form okay that uh, sdk it will take much time so minimize it and you go with another work it will automatically initiate you by asking space if you go through this installation you may find uh, so many examples here the asking okay give a uh, uh, workspace folder where you want to save the files okay then only another important thing is if you uh, rec uh, occur with any error then you shoot in BIOS and uh, according to your uh, OS and your laptop system BIOS um, uh, it's different so according to your you should enable the um, visualization box so uh, I'm giving hint so you just check it out just change it if you fixing with your uh, suffering with any error for long it may be okay now it will take time and this is our uh, system studio dialog box here uh, we have to add uh, your java jdk uh, system here go to windows and preference here we have to add path to here only jre is there but we have to add jdk give add give standard uh, vm then you go in directory you just click uh, where uh, in s okay in java folder you just give jdk in java we have installed java in that java jre folder is one and jdk folder is there through direct directory select jdk uh, according uh, so far what i have found here is we for each process whenever you starting new project you should uh, give this jdk um, to path uh, every time I have tried by adding environment with path also but it's not working okay. uh, whenever you open this you have to add give finish and give check it uh, jdk give ok apply here this is uh, what we have installed to work with intelligent to code in uh, cc++ uh, in this uh, software only we are going to code in C, C++, Java for Python in uh, Linux itself we can uh, in Okta image itself we can code so main purpose of installing is just to code in C, C++ and uh, to connect with IoT there are so many options to connect with IoT and to code with C, C++ thank you